Hi friends, in today's lecture we are going to learn how to draw internal structure of human heart. One of the most important question that always comes in board exam. The question comes like explain internal structure of human heart with neat and label diagram. And for diagram you get nearly 50% of the marks. So what we need to understand is how to draw the internal structure of human heart within short span of time. So this is how exactly the human structure of heart looks like internally. So what we need to do, we need to learn how we are going to do it. So let's try and understand. Now we all know one of the alphabet that I make is V. So let's make it a V in a different way. So we put it as a slant V somewhat like this. So when you put it in a diagrammatic form, so it comes somewhat like this. So we put it as V. Now we all have drawn anchor that is used in the ocean to stop big ships and all. Somewhat like this. Put it here. So let's take it in this way. Let's make that anchor. And it's done. We all know to write alphabet M. So let's write in this way, this alphabet M. Let's try put it in a different way, you know, something like this. Now when you write like this, the structure of the heart is going to come into picture. So this is how we write M. Again, we write M. So let's make it now double layered. So this part what we are drawing is actually the valve of the heart so you can see this it's very easy to draw again same thing has to be copied here so it's again very easy to draw. now if you see we can see four parts one two three four focus on the second part let's take a little bit up straight and we give a call now this band that we are drawing is nothing but it is pulmonary artery the only artery to carry the deoxygenated blood from third part we draw like this now here we have this somewhere or the other it is going to meet here so we put it like this a curve now look at this point from here if you go little bit here now from this point you are going to draw the biggest portion that is called as aorta now once this is done let's draw the superior vena cava the inferior vena cava now this part which we have drawn the pulmonary trunk is going to open somewhere here behind the superior vena cava so we put it in this way I hope it's clear now we are drawing small small veins these veins are called as pulmonary veins the veins to carry oxygenated blood in fact I can say only veins to carry oxygenated blood now on the aorta we are going to show three openings so we put it here this is to join ligamentous arteriosum this is opening of superior vena cava opening of inferior vena cava opening of four pulmonary veins the second one now it is a valve third one is also a valve these are those muscles basically which holds the valves in position called as called a tendine so like this you can draw the internal structure of heart within short span of time and what we need to understand is the labeling part so let's try and understand the labeling this part is called as left atrium this part is called as right atrium lower one will be ventricle so we call it as left ventricle left ventricle is small but it is thicker as compared to right ventricle the part which brings the deoxygenated blood is superior vena cava inferior vena cava this part which takes the deoxygenated blood to the lungs is called as 
pulmonary artery the part which pumps the oxygenated blood to all part of the body is called as aorta there is a valve here one of the important valve i call it as tv it means tricuspid valve having three cusps cusps means here muscles it has the three flaps on the left side you have bv bv means a bicuspid valve also called as mitral valve it is going to have two cusps this valve what you can see connected to the pulmonary artery is semi lunar pulmonary valve that is splv and this part is called as semi lunar aortic valve that is slav this part which is connecting the pulmonary artery and the aorta is called as ligamentous arteriosum so in this way you can draw the entire internal structure of human heart for this is professor sunil kumar thanks for the day